Right, this is a lecture on formal languages and automata, and it's on NDAs, non-deterministic finite automata. And more mainly it's from how to go from an NDA to a DFA, from the method. Right, first, this is meant to be a, uh, a curly A, but they don't have it on the Excel, uh, and this is just a normal A. So this is our NDA which has A, Q, E, I and F and it's quite similar to a DFA uh, in the fact that we have, we have an alphabet, we have the states, we have the edges, uh, the initial states and the final states. And the, the main thing we're changing is just the symbol for E because the edges, like before we had delta, there can be as many edges as you want in a NDA and it doesn't have to be complete. So you can have up three or four different lines. If you've only got A and B in your alphabet, you can have three or four different A's and B's going into each state, and maybe just one coming out. So that's perfectly acceptable in an NDA, because it doesn't have to be complete. Right, the method. To, uh, I put this in my own terms. So to go from an NDA to a DFA, first we have to do is you have to look for your initial states. And you have to, if you've got more than one, then do it separately. So you choose the first state, and then you see what happens when you apply A, and see what states you get after that. Then you see what also happens when you apply B, and see what states you get after that. And you should, well, you might, you might not, get two different sets of states. So two new sets. So if you started with one and applied A, you might get two. If you started with one and applied B, you might get three or four. Uh, because of the way an NDA works. Then, with these new new, st uh, new states, you have to do exactly the same again. So you have to apply A and B, or how many are in your alphabet, and uh, until you get no new states, which means you've found all the states that are possible in all the different paths because you've used both A and B, and you can piece it together uh, by just following this and using all the, the states that you've found as the new states. Uh, anything with the final state from the original NDA, so if it has, say, 1, 2, 3, and 3 as a final state, anything with a 3 in will also be a final state. So if you had 1 and you also had 2 and 3, 2, 3 together, then this would be a final state. So if that made no sense, we've got an example. We want to find an NDA for language A, W, B, W, A, so where W is in A, B star. So W is a word. So I have an A, then a word, B, then a word, then finishing with an A. So one way to write this as an NDA is we start off, we go in, we start off, then what we want to do, we want to start with an A, so we'll get an A. Then we want to have a word, so this can be A and B as many times as you want. And we want to then have a B, so we apply our B. We want another word, so we have A and B as many times as you want. And we want to finish with an A, so we finish with an A here, and that's our final state. Right, as you can see, this isn't complete, and it may be a bit confusing. An NDA is meant to be like this, so if in the case of 2 here, state uh, 2, what happens if we get a B? Well, we can either go here, or we can also stay in B, because it's going around on itself. That's why it's not complete, and an NDA is just an example, uh, a simpler way of writing it down, so that you can find the DFA. Now we want to find the DFA of it. So, like I say, we start with the first first uh, initial state, 1, and we apply A and see what happens. We get 2. We get to 2. If we apply B, then make this, this, it doesn't go anywhere. So it's just an empty set. So that's our another state. And if you want, you can apply A and B to the empty set, but you should, you'll just get the empty set. So this is a, a new state we found. Also, 2 is a new state. So if we use 2 now, uh, and apply A, we see what happens. We can either stay in 2, or yeah, that's it, we stay in 2. So 2 is a state, that's fine. Uh, 2, if we apply B, we can either go to 2, stay in 2, or we can go to 3. So this is a new state here, 2, 3. Now what have we got? New states we've got, we've done 2, we've got 2, 3. So we want to apply A and B to 2, 3 see what happens. If we apply A, 
to two, then we can get two three again. We've already done. Uh, no, if we apply a to two, then we're staying two. If we apply a to three, we can either stay in three or we can go to four. So we have the state two three four. Uh, with two three, if we apply b, we can either stay in two or we can go to three. Or with if we apply b to three, we can also just stay in, just stay in three. So that gives us the answer two three. So what new ones have we got? The new one we've got here is two three four. So we just apply a and b. If we apply a, we get two three four again because it can stay in there. It can also stay in there, or it can go to four. Um, with two three four. Uh, two three four. If we apply b, we can stay in two. Once we go to three, or we can stay in three, nothing happens with the four. So we've got all our states written out there. Now we just want to draw our DFA. So I've put all the facts we've got from up here because that's very useful for finding it. Now if we relabel all our states, so I'm going to let, I'll let uh, relabel one as just the one, two is just the two, three, I'm going to label as the two three. Four, we're going to label as the two, three, four, and five, we're going to label as the the empty uh, the empty set because that was there, wasn't it? Okay. So now what we have to do is just draw it. So if we start with a one, we'll have a one. That's our initial state. And that makes. I'm going to need to have a big example. We'll start with one. Here, if we apply a, what happens? It goes to two. So we do our two here. If we apply b, it goes to the empty set, which we called five, which is over here. And the empty set, if we apply A and B, we'll just uh, keep going to itself. So this is just a sync state of the empty set. Uh, two. What happens if we apply A to two, we get two. So we'll stay where, stay where we are. If we apply B, we go to two, three, which we've labeled as three over here. So if we apply B, we go to three. Uh, three is two, three. So if we apply A, we go to 2, 3, 4, which we've labelled as 4 over here. If we apply B, we go to 2, 3, so it's stay on its own. So we've done the A to here. Uh, remember, it, it contains the finite, the final state, number 4. So this is also a final state. If that was also included, say over here, if it's 2, 4, then this would also be a final state. Uh, what happens when we do stuff to this set? Uh, if we apply A, it stays where it is. We apply B, it goes to 2, 3, so back here. And this is our final DFA. I hope that's all made sense.